Hey everybody, welcome to Mammoth Interactive's YouTube channel. First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video. And remember that this channel doesn't do Patreon, instead we sell our digital courses down below. And every single dollar that we get from the products you buy below goes into making more content. The best way to help out this channel and Mammoth Interactive is to subscribe to Mammoth Interactive's huge library of content. Get thousands of hours and hundreds of courses for a low, low price down below. We have a monthly option and a yearly option. Thanks for listening and I'll see you in the video. Hey everybody, welcome to this video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make things explode in Unreal Engine. Now this is actually fairly easy uh, to do, uh, but what I'm going to do is just basically make a simple tutorial that shows you how to make something explode. So first things first, um, we already have uh, the first person template here. So go ahead and uh, and do that here. Uh, next thing what we're going to do is we're going to hop into the blueprints here and we're going to go to the projectile. And in this projectile, when the projectile uh, hits something, um, uh, what we can do is, or when it gets destroyed, uh, we can actually um, uh, basically spawn uh, an explosion. All right, so let's go ahead and let's do that. So it's actually quite simple. Let's right click and type in event destroyed. So when it's destroyed, we're going to do something. We are going to spawn um, actor, or spawn, spawn object, and spawn actor from class. And which class? Now, I happen to have the starter kit. Um, uh, the start, this, uh, I happen to have the starter kit uh, items installed here. So if you type in explosion, blueprint explosion effect, OK? And if we compile that here, we get a huge problem here, OK? So the problem here is that um, we, we have a transform. So one thing we can do is if we go to sphere and um, you know if we get the the transform location right uh, that's also um, it's not quite uh, what we're looking for but we can do get transform location okay or we can just do get world location and then we can just simply add that in here okay and so if we compile that here we now have um, everything here so let's go ahead let's run that in here and so when it gets destroyed sure enough Look at that. So if it bounces off something and then it gets destroyed, it explodes. Okay, so that's one way to set up an explosion. The second thing that we can do is we can add it an other object that will explode. So let's go ahead and let's do that here. And let's go and create a blueprint class. And we're just going to make it an actor for the time being. We're going to call this explosion box. Okay, because that's exactly what it's going to do. And in that, we're going to add in a cube. Right, and that simply is going to add in a cube like that there. Let's hop over to the event graph here, and let's say when when we um, begin overlap here, we need to delete this all and go to event hit. And when this event hit, we are going to do two things. We are going to destroy, destroy actor. Okay. But most importantly, before that, we are going to spawn actor. Actually, you know what? We are going to just destroy the actor. Okay, because we're going to do the exact same thing: event destroy. And this might not seem that important, but if you if it hits something and then it gets destroyed, um, if you spawn something before that, it might not look as good, and the logic is isn't as good as as you might like it to be. Right, so in in any event, uh, let's go ahead. Let's just simply spawn actor from class. Of course, which class is that going to be? That's going to be the blueprint explosion, and you can actually do any other blueprint, by the way. But what we're going to do is we're going to do the cube, and we're going to say get transform location or get world location, um, and then hook it up in there. Let's compile everything. Everything looks good. Let's drag that box out there and well, let's go ahead and let's just, there we go. And so we now whenever it hits something, uh, it gets destroyed. Now there's a couple of issues with this here. So if we go into the um, uh, cube here and go simulate physics, compile, save it, and then we run it again, right? You see that, you know, it, it, technically, um, it technically worked. 
But let's go back to the explosion box here. And what we're going to do is um, what, when the event hit, um, the, the other should really be the projectile. But I think that's probably good enough. The one thing that I will mention, though, uh, is if I go to uh, materials here, if I create a material, and I'm just going to call this blue, um, the reason I want to do this here is I want to make the other cube a blue color just so that you get something a little bit different here. So we're going to add in a constant three vector. Okay, and let's double click on that. Make this a nice blue color. Yeah, just like that here. Push OK. And then apply and save. And it does take a little bit of time. So once that does happen, once it does take that little bit of time here, uh, you know, there we go. And then when we go back into our explosion box here, let's click on the cube and we're just going to type in, I think I just, did I just call it blue? All right, there you go. It was just basically blue so that when you, you know which ones you can destroy and there you go. Now, fun fact, if you really wanted to, you can make this projectile pretty much anything that you want here. So watch this. If you made a static mesh, add in a static mesh here, and that mesh is a chair, uh, a chair, <laughs> right? You can watch this. So I think this is hilarious. All right, so let's stop that here. Let's compile and save it. Play. You're now shooting a chair, <laughs> which I think is kind of funny. Right, and if you really want the uh, the chair to kind of simulate physics, click click on that here, and then um, actually, if we click, we if we do simulate the physics, it looks like uh, you'd have to add in something else here. But nevertheless, uh, it's now tied to projectile. I think that is pretty good. And so now you can have chairs. You can shoot. You can pretty much shoot anything you want here. If you really wanted to, you can add in a static mesh again. Right, you can add an unlimited amount of static messages. Okay, and so in here, um, you know, what would be, what would be funny? Brush, couch, hmm, wall, rock. Yeah, let's shoot a rock. All right, and so you can see here that we now can just shoot whatever we want here. All right. And there you go. All right, so that concludes this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Uh, please be sure to like and subscribe. As of now, this channel is not monetized, so it would help me out a lot if you liked and subscribed and shared this video, particularly on Reddit. We get a lot of traffic from there. And please be sure, to, if you really like this video, you can check out our digital products down below if it helped you in any way. We don't do a Patreon. Instead, we sell our digital courses and other products down below. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in another video.